What is the best faction then? You know, infantry, cavalry, archers. I'm an infantry man. That's the biggest clue. That's the biggest clue. I'm going to do another video and I'm going to touch on, you know, um, civilization and, you know, look into like the army, the, the unit types and, you know, maybe look at the defense and attack stats and health stats and just kind of do a deeper comparison. But on the face of it, <clears throat> other than Joan Prime, most cavalry only have the benefit of being quite quick. And I've already dismissed that so many times. You can run to me quick, but at the end of the day, I'm going to have more attack, defense or health, or maybe all three. So you're just running to your doom. <laughs> and that's the facts. But those, those um, battle calculators may make it seem or misguide people to think, yeah, no, cavalry is still decent. Not really. Excluding Joan Prime, not really. Sorry. And I do also have time. I've got to have an honourable mention. To... And then this is, this is my point of view, so I don't expect everybody to agree, but it's just a point of view. It's just maybe worth listening to. I do have some time for Alexander Nevsky, but still single damage commander. I do like his defence debuff and things like that, which kind of almost makes it area of effect in terms of that debuff but um placeholder it's a placeholder um so anyway cavalry in all in all instances if you've only got joan prime there's your kind of flag flag holder it's, it's just nowhere near as good as infantry so we start off infantry cav so where does so where does archers rank? Where do archers rank? Well, archers got exactly the same problem as calf, in as much as most of them, until very recently, excluding what you, YSG, <laughs> um, until very recently, they've been single single damage. But I do like Sujli Yang. I've talked about him. I've done a, a, a commander review video on Sujli Yang. If you have, if you haven't seen it. Definitely worth seeing. But this, uh, you know, damage five enemies. I was talking about Huan Yu and his damage. That was both the maximum is 2,000. But instead of being 1,4 on the third one, which would be, so it would also be 1,4. Damage of 1,400 on the third enemy touch. The fourth one's going to be 1,100. And the fifth one's going to be something like 800. So the damage output from... Um, Zhuzhliang is just enormous. And if you're looking for your that your kills to go through the roof, then that's what you're gonna do. That's what you're gonna do. And um if you see a stack of cabs, you can just take them out. And of course you'll have that natural advantage over infantry as well. Um I do like Zhuzhliang. I do like Zhuzhliang. And also I've got the um so I wasn't gonna touch on it, but I will. My Civilization gives more advantages to, to archers over the others. So, hmm. Okay, so let's continue this debate a little bit. Uh, so, who else? Uh, okay, Herman Prime, very new to come in. Um, and it's another damage. It adds just more damage to, you know, up to three commanders this time. Again, based on the maximum damage factor of 2,000. Um... Obviously, I prefer the silence of Huan Yu, and I, I really like the health debuff of, I don't know if I talked about it, <laughs> of the Scipio, who's just absolutely awesome. Uh, attacks three enemies, again, maximum damage factor 2,000. Uh, the health debuff towards the enemy of 30%. Wow. So that, oh man, that skill, that skill damage is going to cut deep. From that, um, you got another area of effect commander in um, Luce, but the additional benefit of the forty reduction of forty percent march speed is not interesting at all. But I do like the fact it's not based on skill damage, so those skill damage debuffs uh, that we saw from uh, ZL just not going to apply to Luce. But also, having said that, though. <laughs> That civilization buff of skill damage also doesn't help us. Um, 
when it comes to Luce. So, you know, you got to pick your poison, I guess. Um, I never really thought about it too much, but I still think infantry are better because I think Quan Yu's the best commander in the game, uh, followed by Scipio, probably followed by Joan Prime, and uh, the cavalry is just nowhere. But not too far behind the infantry, I've never thought this before, is probably uh, archers. Again, no focus on uh, March B, just focused on the damage that they bring, and they've got some decent area effect commanders. Well, two. <laughs> And the old school one, which is uh, YSG as well. It's, it's, there's just too too much choice in... Well, there's just more choice in infantry right now. If they brought out another area of effect, potent archer commander, one or two actually, then you know then the archers may well tip. And this may well happen. They may well tip the infantry, but then they'll probably move the meta. I know it talks about meta in terms of rage, but the established current meta whilst it moves to something about Rage Bar, it's probably going to be moving from skill damage to smite damage in the direction of uh, Lu Jane, probably. Um, so, yeah, um, strong mention for the archers for the reasons I've just mentioned. Um, they just can't... You can't remove the, the, the relative power still and the tankiness of infantry but of course i don't want to not mention it archers do have a natural advantage over infantry as well which helps them it's just that they don't, they don't have enough commanders right now right now as i'm trying to use constantine as a utility commander i do acknowledge he's only single damage but yeah for me still it's still infantry which is kind of edging Edging at the archers. That's it. Right. Um, I hope you found that useful. Um, I, I, to be honest, the archers and the infantry were running a lot closer than what I thought. I think I actually saw somebody posted on Facebook talking about archers as number one. I thought, what the hell are you talking about? Um, it's, it's not crazy now that Herman Prime is here to back up Zhu Liang. Really not crazy at all. And I do, and I've mentioned it before, still like... YSG it does make me smile. I saw him on battle just today. <laughs> um, yeah, and he's going to do his do. You know, it's usually Yang, especially with the buffs in the museum. And you know what? There's probably going to be future buffs for uh, YSG. So, you know, I can't really rule him out. But, um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm rocking, and I can easily rock three four powerful infantry armies and at the moment i can probably rock one maybe one and a half decent archer armies but they're still better than the cavalry because for me cavalry wise i'm just rocking um joan prime at the moment with you know i don't <laughs> if i had him then i would i would do it with um i wish forget his name it's embarrassing um Nevsky, how can I forget you? But yeah, in the future. In the future with um, Belisarius Prime. I'll be fair that useful anyway. That is Steve and I. I don't forget to subscribe. That's the only encouragement that I need. Um, I get lots of views to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Click on the icon. Click on subscribe. That is Steve and I am out.